Uh, hello everybody, my name is Paul T. Willis, where you can call me Paul, and I, we're just gonna do one little thing, little thing, and then, uh, we're gonna continue on with the game. Uh, this is the Running Man. You know, uh, you remember this guy from the past, so, you can actually issue, like, a little challenge. Basically, he'll give you a race to Gerudo Valley, all the way to the entrance to, uh, Kokiri Forest. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna begin this race. One thing I have on my side is this horse. Now, you can't warp. Oh, come on, Napona. Okay. Yeah, Napona doesn't like stairs for some reason. Alright. Ah, darn it. Hate this. Alright, so we're, we're beginning the race. So, trying to go to uh, the entrance to, uh,. Uh, Kokiri Forest. So, should be a simple race. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna win already. Alright. Jump over the fence. Alright. I mean, I could warp there, but, you know, I feel like that I would be cheating. So, you know. Ah, darn it. Okay, that's just weird. Okay, I'm wondering why opponent's not jumping over the fence. Alright, we're almost there. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna get off the horse and, and just go on foot. Sorry, Pona. And he already beat us. Alright, so something about that is uh no matter how fast you go, even if you even if you're like me with, with no uh, mess ups in there, uh, he will always beat you. But uh, you do get one thing for inch issuing this challenge if you go into Link's house. So just walk inside. Darn it. Uh, there should be a... Ah, oh yeah, here it is. Uh, yeah, there should be like this little plaque that tells you about all the stuff you did. Well, I'm going to head back to Gerudo Valley so that we can cont continue the game. I just want to show that off. Okay, so back in Gerudo Valley, we're going to make our way through the desert to get to the final dungeon. Yeah, there is one more thing I could do, but I'm actually going to wait till I, you know, clear, like, well, half of the dungeon to do it. So, what you got to do to continue is, uh, climb up here. And talk to this lady who's in charge of the gate. How you doing? I can only cross the desert unless I pass the two trials. First one, the river of sand. I can't walk across this river unless unless I have something to help me. And for the second trial, I need the eye of truth to find a a uh, guardian. So that way they can, that way that uh, guardian can help me through the desert. Yes, Abby. I know. Let's we let's go. Alright, so, uh, there, there's the temple in the distance. So, if you stand in the sand for long enough, you're gonna start sinking. So, there is a way to circumvent this. Equip, equip the hover boots, and you won't sink. Alright, so, here's the river of sand that she talked about. So, I guess I just gotta hook shot this. Come on. Again, it's just so sensitive. I, I am gonna get like an N64 controller that I can do this. Hey, a sign. What does it say? 
All those reckless enough to venture in the desert, please drop by our shop. Ooh! Well, might as well see what's over here. Is that guy on a magic carpet? How you doing? Ooh, uh, an item, right? <laughs> Sounds interesting. I'll, I'll buy it. Oh, 200. It, it's supposed to be so worth it. Oh, it's a, it's a bomb shoe. But he also gives us some more hints, which is follow the, which is follow the uh, flags. And I will say this, you at this point of the game, yes, the bomb shoe will be required. So if you haven't done that bomb minigame thing... You know, this place is sort of like the Lost Woods, basically. So all you gotta do is just follow the flags, and you'll you'll basically be fine. You know, you got your you got your hover shoes, so you know you won't fall in. All right, so here we have this little temple thing, and before I want to go on top. You know, I just want to go down here real quick. You'll find, uh... Gold Skulltula. Hey, you know what? I'm going to use the fire arrows this time. You know, just to light these torches. And behind you is the uh, is a chest containing a purple rupee. You know, get some money back from uh, from uh, buying that guy's stuff. All right, now we're just gonna equip the eye truth. <laughs> Sorry, lens of truth. Alright, now we just climb up here, see what's up here. Okay, let's check it. Alright, with the eye of truth, we'll be guided to the spirit temple by an, by an inviting ghost. Or is it invisible, sorry. Alright, so make sure you follow this guy. And luckily he stops for us. Sometimes. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. Alright, so these are sort of like Z classic Zelda enemies. Uh, you know, I forgot what they're called. <laughs> like, you know, these are Poe. The, the thing I'm following is a Poe. I'm pretty sure if you kill it... I'm, I wonder if you can kill it. Hmm. I think they're leakers or levers. <laughs> those are what those spinning things are called. <laughs> I could be wrong if someone wants to tell me. You know, maybe I can just po post in like the uh, description what they're called. And I'm gonna get you. All right. <sighs> And thanks to that ghost, uh, we're at the temple. Desert Colossus. Alright, this looks to be our final dungeon of the game. Yeah, I don't know why they're doing that. Maybe they're like, maybe these enemies are like plant-based. Alright, so, uh, if you notice that there's this crack in the wall, Bombs out. And we enter this cave. And this looks to be our... This is the second to last... Uh, great fairy... Uh, sh shrine. Or cave. Whatever you want to call it.
Ahí de All right, so the, she's gonna give us the last of the power ups that are the ma crystal magic power ups. You know, like uh, the f the fire wave and the Feyori Feyora's win. Uh, this is Nehru's love. This is a protective barrier. You know, cuts damage by half, but it will use your magic over time. I'll uh, show it off once I get inside. Alright, roll in here. Now there is something else I want to get out here. So just roll along. It's, uh... I believe it's over here at this, uh... You know, little, uh, thing. I think we can play a song here. Hold on. Maybe the Song of Storms, I forget. Yeah, it fills it, it. You know that actually makes sense. You know it, it causes it to rain, and you get a bunch of fairies, which is nice. If you can come get some if you want some, but also there is a gold spider that appears at night. <laughs> All right, just gotta wait a little bit. There it is, right there. I done it. Come on. All right. How many are we at? Ninety-two. Okay, that's good. So that means that there are eight more spiders left out there. All right, now it's time to explore. Now it's time to explore the dungeon, and I can finally take these off. That they're super uncomfortable to wear. Look, I'm, look, I'm sorry, but the, those gold parts, you know, they're very pokey. All right, Spirit Temple. Ah uh, man, I got hit, but yeah, I healed. Uh, let me see. Too small to fit. Too big to fit in that small hole. And we got this uh, big block right here, but it appears I cannot push it. Well, that, well, it is kind of the entrance. Maybe there's another way. I'll look outside. Oh God, how long was I in there? It's already morning. Hey Sheik, how are you? How are you? Sorry. So, uh, basically, we have to be a child again. I always kind of like this song, you know, sort of like a little sad in there. Maybe it's all the low notes. Alright, need to concentrate. Alright. Alright, the Requiem of Spirits. Okay, so with this, we can return to the Temple of Time, return to the Master Sword, and yeah, this is like the final time you have to, uh, 
Well, I guess not the final, because after the Water Temple, you can come here if you want to. But I, I but you know, there is some benefits to doing the Sphere Temple for first. Uh, sorry, the Shadow Temple first and the Sphere Temple first. Um, basically, you know, like you, like you said, you, you know, you get you get your you, if you use the hover boots first, you get to you don't sink in the sand. Alright. Sorry. Okay. Now we can return over there. Alright, so we're back in the desert. Hey, wasn't it daylight an hour ago? Oh well. And, uh, basically, before we go inside, we have a few more... We just have one more thing to do. See that patch of dirt? This is the final time we, that I'm going to be doing this since we completed the bean quest. So, plant your bugs, plant your beans, kill the spider. Alright. Now we can head inside. Well, got healed for it. Alright, let's make our way through that small- Hey, who's that? Ah, it's another player. How are you? I did not know this was an online game. Eh, nothing really. Well, considering Gandorf knocked beat me up last time and tried to kill me, I hate Gandorf. Hmm. Ah, well, that that does sound bad. I mean, I mean, I'm, I guess we're technically from different cultures, so naming conventions are, can be totally different. Alright, uh, we'll help you find the silver, I'll help you find the silver gloves. I'll do it. Alright. So, uh, basically the gimmick with this dungeon is you explore it one half as a child and you explore the rest as an adult. You know, nothing too bad. Alright, get rid of the bats. And let's pull up the bomb for old time's sake. Maybe I can get these keys missed. Alright, blow up. Okay, I got this. Aha! Anyway, I'm gonna try doing. I'm gonna try doing it in one half. Well, there's only one thing I know I could do. Oh look, a, a gold skulltula. Hey, I said it right. Miss. 
Alright, come on. Got it. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Let's light, let's light these torches. Alright, I got this. Oh man, the chest is on the other side. Alright, I'm going to bust out the old shield for this. Old Woody. Aha! Got him. Alright, so... Get out of the way. Man, those are some strong pellets. Alright, continuing on. Alright, so uh, you got this thingy. You got this weird statue thing right here. What you're supposed to do is that you're supposed to lead him to a certain spot, tur turn, turn on like a switch, and then you burn him alive. But, but since you have to burn him... I figured, you know, that could work. Ooh, rupees. Alright, now back to the steel plated shield. Ah, shoot. Monsters are hanging from the ceiling. I know what that means. Sweet, I got a key. Anyway, collect, collect the rubies on this, on this, uh, gr climbable grate. Good thing that the hand doesn't get me from here. Ah, shoot. They're on fire now. Anyway, now that we got this key, we can continue on, actually. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything important, like a spider that's on the wall. Yeah, it looks like we looks like we have an infestation problem right now. All right, so now we have use of the bomb. Now we now in this room we actually have use of the bomb shoe right now. Got it. <laughs> anyway, might as well show, show these off. So, see that crack on the wall? Uh, with this, you can drop it. And it blows up. So, it's sort of like a little tracking bomb, if you will. Alright, now, there's also this switch right here. I'm guessing this is just bomb shoes, right? Huh. Okay, that that's neat. So you don't have to buy money from that guy. Hey, another chest. Five cents. <laughs> uh, I guess there's some uh, things <laughs> like dine alf. Sorry, there's like was like a new type of enemy called the dine alfos. Huh. Nice room. Unfortunately, there's a gold spider right there, but we just can't get it yet. Well, I'm just gonna push this off because uh, I don't like it. All right, now let's continue on. As as term for a final dungeon, well, one of the final dungeons, I actually do quite the like the spirit temple because you know. It's like one final tri time for Child Link to do, and one final time for uh, uh, for the adult to do. 
before the final, before before the actual final level. Ah, darn it. Alright, so with these blocks... Okay, that actually is getting kind of annoying. We can actually push this block... ...into... ...interrupting the pu the that spike puck's movement. But don't push it too well, otherwise, you, otherwise, otherwise the puck will clip. And we also got these amazing, good-looking groupies. And why not I have these out? All right, and just gonna collect these. Jerk. All right, we got him. All right. Almost got it. See, useful. D doing that is useful. Now we have to light up the torches to continue on, but I also want to push push around the blocks. And we also gotta light the sun up. So we just gotta pull this out of the way. Alright, we almost got it. Almost. Alright, that opens the door, but I, but I am curious about what happens if I light up all the torches. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I get stuck forever. I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you can, like, use the, uh... Huh, weird. Well, that's what happens when you use, well, that's what happens when you use it long enough. Alright, just gonna light up all the torches, if I can find them. All right, all right. No more, no more, uh, no more messing around. I'm gonna do this for real. All right. Okay, that that there's the last torch. I'm gonna go get it. Well, there's a chest. Let's see what's gonna see what's inside. Alright, see, it's worth it. You get a key. Well, we seem to have a spider. And, uh... Oh, I, I think... I think we're gonna have, like, a fight on our hands. Alright. You know, this is like a pretty short section. Uh, you know, thank God I thought it was going to be longer. So, you know, might as well show this off. Uh. Well, it's not going to open, so... Okay. Alright, time to show this off. So, this is like a little barrier. So, this is sort of like an iron knuckle. And it hits very hard. It... Best way I can say is study its movements. And do like a lot of dump slashes. Unfortunately, I think I'm just doing like like a bunch... Oh, that that is useful. Alright, now, 
So with the armor off, uh, you can actually just slash it till it's dead. Alright, got him. Ah, just in time, it's about to run out. And this looks like to be the end of the part, but let's continue playing. How are you, Kid Barkabar? I haven't seen you in a while. Tutorial hour. Owl. Ah, oh, thank you. Hmm. Alright then. Oh, uh, I will do that. Yes, I did. And this is the final time we'll see Kabor Kabor in this game, everybody. Uh, no. <laughs> Sir. Alright, uh, everyone say goodbye. You know, he, he was a big influence. Could not get out of the forest without him. Alright, we got the Silver Gauntlets. Wearing these will will give us great strength. But we did promise we would give these to her, so, you know, we, we should keep our word. I wonder what's going on. Oh no! Nabora! Sorry, Naboru. Well, I forgot your name, but darn it. Well, uh, she's dead, so I guess I get to keep it. Keep the gauntlets, uh, that's a plus. Anyway, guys, my name is Paul Anthony Williams, and thank you guys, or you can call me Paul, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all again next time. Have a good day, everybody.